profit and loss discount aptitude mathematics hi this is amaya in this session we can discuss about the topic in aptitude as profit and loss segment to discount this discount has the keywords of marked price listed price and label price okay these are three other keywords for a discount questions we already saw the profit and loss first segments has a eight types okay today we discuss about on segment 2 before getting to the topic still now you are not subscribed to this channel so first you can subscribe to this channel then only you will get the notification from your subscription box when i upload the video you will get the notification about on on it okay okay discount the first one what is the what are the formulas in discount let's see that so formula The first formula for this is the discount formula. So D percent is a discount constant. This is M P minus S P divided by M P into hundred. Okay. This is the first formula. The second one is M P is market price. S P is a selling price. Okay. D percent is a discount constant. The next one is the M P into discount percent is equal to CP into profit. This is the second one. The third one is a condition. If CP is given, that means selling price. Uh, that means cost price is given. The time CP into profit percent divided by L percent equal to MP. That is market market price. Okay. The fourth formula is if market price is given. Okay. Market price is given. That means M P into loss percent divided by profit percent is equal to C P. Oh, listen and sure. So when M P is given. Okay, M P is multiplied with loss percent divided by profit percent. Is equal to cost price. When C P is given, cost price is multiplied with profit percent divided by loss percent is equal to M P. That is market price. So here the notations are market price as as M P and cost price is denoted as C P. Selling price is denoted as S P. D means a discount. So discount is denoted as D percent. And L percent is the loss percent. Loss percent is denoted as L percent. Profit percent is denoted as P percent. These are the things present in the discount formula. Okay. Let's see the let's see the problem. Let's solve this. Let's see that. First one. The first problem is find a single discount equivalent to a series discount of series discount of twenty percent, ten percent, and five percent. Okay, let's find the single discount. Okay, so solution. They give one series discount of twenty percent, ten percent, and five percent for some amount. Okay, so selling price is equal to So we can find the series discount to discount. Okay. The first one is a twenty percent discount. Twenty percent discount that means hundred minus twenty is eighty percent. So eighty divided by hundred into ten percent discount that means hundred minus ten is ninety divided by 
100 okay the next one is 5% discount the 5% discount means 100 minus 5 is 95 divided by 100 so we can find the selling price value that for into 100 okay you can cancel these things we can get the selling price value okay then we can go to apply the selling price value to find the single discount for discount formula okay we cancel this value 100 100 getting cancelled the next thing is here okay zero zero is cancel it here the remaining thing is this one okay the remaining thing in this series okay here we can cancel this value here i can cancel these things by divided by 5 okay that means here is a 19 by 95 here 20 paisa 100 okay it again cancels these values okay so 8 and 20 i cancel these values at here so here is 2 4 sir 8 5 4 sir 20 okay the remaining thing is 2 into 9 into 19 divided by 5 okay therefore 2 into 9 into 19 divided by 5 that means 2 nines are 18. So 18 into 19. So 18. So 18 into 19 divided by 5. Okay. Therefore, 18 stands are 180. Okay. 8 9s are 72. 1 9s are 9. So 9 plus 7 is 16. Okay. Therefore, so therefore. 2, 8 plus 6 is 14. So 342 divided by 5. Okay. So 6, 5 sir, 13. So remaining is 4, that is 42. Therefore, 8, 5 sir, 40. Remaining is 2. Therefore, point 4 is 4 pies are 20. Okay. Therefore, 68.40. This is the value. Okay. 68.40. This is the selling price value. Then we can apply this value to the discount formula. So, discount is equal to 100 minus selling price. Therefore, discount value is 100 minus 68.40 so rupees the answer is 31.6% this is the discount value okay so discount value is 31.6% this is the discount value okay let's go for the second problem the second one is the second one is after getting two successive discounts I start with a list price of 150 rupees is available at 105 rupees that means a list price of 150 rupees is available at 105 rupees the second discount is 12.5 percent find the first discount let's see that the solution so given conditions are find the first discount this is the method thing so first discount is x percent okay then we can go for the condition okay so here a list price of 150 rupees is available at 105 rupees. The second discount is 12.5 percent. That means second discount is 12.5 percent. That is 100 minus 12.5 is equal to 87.5. Okay. Therefore 87.5 divided by 100. The first one. So second discount from this price. So 150 
rupees is available at 105 rupees. We definitely uh, didn't know about the discount value. That means 100 minus x divided by 100 into so 150 rupees. Okay. These things are equal to the 105 rupees. So rupees 105. It cancel. We can find the first discount. So x value. Okay. Let's start. I can cancel these things by 50. Okay. So 3 50s are 150. So 2 50 is a 100. Okay. Let further I can cancel these things. So 3 35 are 105. So again I can cancel this value and this divided by 7. That means so 12.57 or 87.5. 5 7s are 70. Uh, 35 okay further I can cancel 100 by 12.5 so 12.48 is 100 okay therefore from here 8 and 2 so 8 2s are 16 this 16 will goes to the right hand side okay therefore so 100 minus x is equal to 5 into 16. 5 16 is 80. Okay. Therefore, here is minus x. Okay. So, x is equal to uh, this 100 will go to the here has a minus sign. So, 100 will go to the right hand side. That means it, uh, it will get the minus sign. Okay. Minus minus getting cancelled. Therefore, 100 minus 80. Okay, for x is equal to 20%. This is the discount value. x is equal to 20%. The first discount is 20 x is equal to 20%. This is the answer. We go for the third problem. The third problem is the third one is an uneducated retailer marks all his goods at 50% above the cost price and thinking that he will still make 25% profit offers a discount of 25% on the market price. What is his actual profit on the sales? Okay, again I read the question. Here the condition is his, his goods at 50% above the cost price. This is the market price. So the solution, so given as first you can write market price value. Okay. So market price that means 50% above the cost price. So cost price is so consider cost price as Cost price is 100, okay. Therefore, above the cost price, that means 100 plus 50 is equal to 150. So, this is the market price value. So, market price is rupees 150. So, M is rupees 150. The second one is. I am thinking that he will still make 25% profit offers a discount of 25% on the market price. Okay. Then we can find the selling price value. So here discount is 25%. That means 100 minus 25 is 75%. So percent means 75 divided by 100 into Discount of 25% on the market price. That means market price value. We can write. I can write it here. So market price is at 150. I can cancel this value and find the exact profit value. Okay. I can cancel this value by two uh, by 50. So here is three. Here is two. Two 37.5 is 75. Okay, therefore 37.5 into 3. 
I can multiply this value. Okay, 5 3 is 50. 7 3 is 21 plus 1 is 22. 3 3 is 3 3 is 9. So 9 plus 2 is 11. 112 plus 112 rupees and 55 say. So 112 rupees 55 say. From here, we can convert the gain value. So gain is 100 plus gain value. Okay. So here, from uh, 100 plus 12.5 percent, that is the SP value. Okay. As for gain is, so gain is, so profit on the sales. So gain is. 12.50% So this is the gain value That's it We go for the fourth problem The fourth one is The fifth one is At what percent above the CP must an article be marked So as to gain 33% of the allowing a customer a Discard of 5%. Okay, let's solve this. The solution they given is 1% above the CP. So CP is assuming CP is under. That means you can find the SP value. An article be marked so as to gain 33%. That means above the CP. Okay, 100 plus 33 is equal to 133. This is the CP, so, sorry, this is the selling price value. Okay, 133. This is the profit percent for here. Okay, therefore profit is 133 percent. Okay, so discount is 5 percent. So discount is a 5 percent, that means 100 minus 5 is 95 percent. Okay, you can find the mark price value because they mentioned so be marked so as to gain 33 percent. That means what percent you can find the mark price value. So if the third formula, if CP is given, CP into profit divided by loss percent is equal to MP. Okay. So CP is 100. Profit percent is 133. Loss is 95. Okay. I can cancel this value by 5. Here is 90. Here is 20. So 2133 sir. 266 into 0. Divided by 19. Here 19 are 266. Okay. Therefore 140. From 140 at here. So here gain is 100 plus 40 percent. Okay. Therefore here, mark the price is 40% above CP value. Okay, this is the answer for this fifth problem. The last one is, the fourth problem is, a retailer buys 40 pence at the MP of 36 pence from a wholesaler. If he sells these pains giving a discount of 1%, what is the profit percent? The solution. So given as so a retailer buys 40 pence, that means the cost price. Okay, so cost price of 40 pence is so here are the market price of 36 pence from a wholesaler. So CP of 40 pence is Rupees 36. Here, 40 pence at the 
small price of 36 pence. Therefore, the next one is so small the price. We can find small the price of 40 pence is equal to 40 into here. If he sells these pens, giving a discount of 1%. So 1% discount of means 100 minus 1 is a 99 divided by 100. You can cancel this value and get the answer. 499 is 396 here divided by 10. That means it has a decimal value. So 39.6 rupees is the most price value. Otherwise selling price value. Okay. So this is the selling price of 40 pence because he sells these pence giving a discount of 1%. Okay. So selling price of so selling price of 40 pence is rupees 39.6. Can find the profit because they give us what is the profit percent. So profit percent is equal to SP minus CP. This is the gain value. We already has, uh, we already find, found CP and SP value from the given question. Okay. So SP minus CP divided by CP into 100. You can directly apply this value. So SP is 39.6 rupees. CP is 36 rupees. So CP is 36 rupees. Okay. We can cancel this value. From here, 39.6 uh, 39 minus 36 is equal to 3.6 divided by 36 into 100. So, I'm sorry, I have not mentioned 100 here. Okay. Minus 36. Okay. I can cancel the decimal value. So, I put divided by 10 and here. Okay. Cancel the decimal value. So that is is are getting cancer. Zero zero getting cancer. Therefore, gain percent is the profit percent for the given round. So profit percent is the gain percent. So this is the answer. The fifth one is the last one. When a producer allows 36% commission on the retail price of this product, he earns a profit of 8.8%. So he earns a profit of 8.8%. What would be his profit percent if the commission is reduced by 24%? Okay, let's solve this value. You can find it. The gain value. Okay. So first, the, the given commission is a 36 percent. Therefore, CP is 100. To so assume the CP value is a 100. So commission is 36 percent. So commission is 36. Therefore, we can find the SP value. So, 100 minus 36 is equal to 64 rupees. Okay, we can start to find the exact CP, uh, exact CP value for this commission value. Okay. In a box method, here is a profit value. So, they give us the profit here and the profit of 8.8 percent that means 100 plus 8.8 is 108.8 percent is a profit okay this is a profit percent this is the sp value sp value is 64 rupees here is a 100 here is a x value okay we can solve this so 64 17 are 1088 that's four it has a one decimal value so on the decimal point so 1.7 okay x equal to 100 divided by 1.7 when we uh, cancel the decimal value i can multiply the uh, multiply 10 by numerator 
for x is equal to 100 into 10 divided by 17. Therefore, x equal to 1000 divided by 17. So, Cp otherwise x. Okay. Cp otherwise x. Okay. This is the Cp value. The second one is a new commission. That is the profit person if the commission is reduced by 24%. Then new commission is 24%. Okay, 24. When the 24 percent is reduced uh, from 100, so 100 minus 24 is equal to rupees. 76. We can find the total value of SP from the first commission and this one. Okay. So SP is equal to rupees 76 minus rupees 64. We can get the value of SP is 12 rupees. Okay. From both of commissions. Then at here. So, end of the new commission value of SP. Okay. So, new commission of SP is new commission of SP is equal to 100 minus 12 is equal to 88. This is the new SP. Okay. So, SP is 88. We can find the gain value. So, gain is equal to SP minus CP. Therefore, SP is 88. CP is 1000 divided by 17. From here, 1788 are 1496. Okay. Therefore, 1496 minus 1000 divided by 17 is equal to 496 divided by 17. Okay. You can find the profit percent. So, profit percent is equal to gain divided by CP into 100. That's for gain value is 496 divided by 17. CP value is 1000 divided by 17 into 100. We can cancel the 17 for both of denominator value. Then two zeros are cancelled. Here two zeros are cancelled. Okay. Here 496 divided by 10. The remaining is 496 divided by 10. That means 49.6%. From here, profit is the so profit percent is forty nine point six percent is the profit percent for this answer. Okay, you can practice this six problem related to this discount topic for profit and loss segment two. If you like this video, you can share with your friends and others. Never forget to subscribe this channel. Then only you will get the notification from the next videos upload. Okay. And it's even another session signing us on here. And bye. Thank you for watching.